And from what I heard, McLaren boss Zach Brown is actually going to give you a chance to test drive the McLaren Formula One car. Yeah. Did that happen already at, or not yet? No, at the end of the year. Oh my God, that is so exciting. In December in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Yes, in Abu Dhabi? Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. No. You're cool going to be spending a nice, amazing winter in the Middle East, yeah. test driving an incredible car. Formula One. <laughs> joined by none other than Mexican heavyweight sports car professional racer Pato Award but Pat Patricio but he likes to be called Pato because he wants to feel young and ageless which he is he was born in 1999 so that makes you feel like a grandma Pato welcome to the show how uh, are you thank you guys for having me excited to be here it's so nice to be here because I remember just like yesterday my team was getting ready to get the credentials and then COVID happened Everything went waste, we were secluded in our homes, but now a year and a half has gone by and now we're getting ready to host the Long Beach Grand Acura. I it, love it. It feels like it's been forever mm -hmm. and um, I remember last year with all the, when all the COVID stuff happened, I remember the news of, of this getting, you know, maybe postponed and then it, then it didn't end up happening and then this year kind of again, but then they said it was going to happen at the end of the year and um, I think there's no better place to have the season finale. Am I, think, I right? Yeah, this is like I think this is a great place to have it, and I, I don't think I'm old enough to know if because I think this is number 46, right? Number 46. Yeah, 46. Yes, you have your data right. <laughs> and I don't know when this has been a finale in a championship. I, I think don't it's think it ever has been because it's always in April, right? But yeah. now there's a silver lining to the postponement because now we get to be the rappers of it, the gold belts, yeah. the se season finale, and there's so much anticipation to that. So we feel very lucky on behalf of LA and behalf of downtown Long Beach. No, so I think it's great for us to be able to come here and mm -hmm. there's so much history that goes down in, in, in Long Beach and um, we're in the fight for the championship. So hopefully it's us holding up the, the big trophy in the end. But you're doing amazing because last year you finished fourth with your team. And that's amazing considering that you are so young and you were considered rookie of the year. You were actually the champion for the Indy Lights, right, with Andretti Autosports. Mm -hmm. So what are your expectations for this year? Um, hopefully the championship. I yes. mean, honestly, we, we went into the year wanting to fight for the championship. Mm -hmm. there's, there's three races left and we're leading the pack right now. So I think that's, that's something that kind of reassures us that what, what we're doing is, is good. Um, but it's tight. I mean, it's tight up there. We're, we're up against Ganassi, Penske, which arguably are one of the or the best teams in IndyCar history. But you are in great so. hands. You are part of the Aero McLaren SP team with my paisano, my fellow Colombian Juan Pablo Montoya and F uh, Felix Rosenquist as well. Mm -hmm. So I think you're going to do pretty yeah, fine. No, I, and I think, you as well. Yeah, we're, 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 in, uh, heavyweight, we're in great man. hands. So yeah. I, think, uh, I think we're going to have a great little little ending of this uh, 2021 season. I, I, sure, I sure hope it's going to be that way, but, but I think we have everything to be able to do it. And from what I heard, McLaren boss Zach Brown is actually going to give you a chance to test drive the McLaren Formula One car. Yeah. Did that happen already at, or not yet? No, at the end of the year. Oh my God, that it, is so exciting. In December in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Yes, in Abu Dhabi? Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. No. You're cool going to be spending a nice, amazing winter in the Middle East, yeah. test driving, an incredible car. Formula One car. <laughs> so what do you think is going to happen next with your Formula One expectations? I know that you didn't have enough points before. Um, honestly, I, I'm kind of just leaving it to see what, where it takes me. Mm -hmm. um, but no pressure. Right now, yeah, right now I'm just focused on IndyCar. I want to I wanna win the championship. I want to try and win the Indy 500. Mm -hmm. um, and then, then we'll see what my future has in store, I guess. I love it. It's better to just flow with it, yeah. not put any resistance and see where it takes you and put some much deserved action, which is what you're doing. Yes. And you're savoring the journey, you're savoring the moment. Enjoy it. That's, I think, the formula for success. Enjoying where you're at and making sure that you are present. That's when you function at your most. Talking about presence, what are your rituals when you get ready to get in that car and speed your way through it? Do you have any? Honestly, every time's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't really have a, a certain thing that I have to do. It's like either touching my knees before or just not. I don't really do any any uh, specific kind of action mm -hmm. before I either jump in the car or a few hours before. All I try to do is just eat well before the race because 
they're tough. They're tough races. They're they're physically really demanding. And, you need to uh, fuel you burn, your body. Yeah, you gotta as best you gotta you think can. of it as fuel. Let's go back to your humble beginnings. I always like to ask people that do what they love for a living. When was that first rush of adrenaline that spiked up your body? When for it me, it was um, it was 2005. I can't remember what date it was. I remember my first race was October 21st. So it was before October 21st, 2005. Mm -hmm. um, I got to go see my cousin who was racing in a little baby car. I mean, he's a, he was a, two years older than mm -hmm. I was. Um, to a local car track by mm -hmm. our house. And I remember like it was yesterday, super weird, where I, like I'm standing here, the track is in front of me and I'm seeing cars go by and I see him go by and I'm like, I got goosebumps. And I was like, I want to do that. And I got straight home and I, and, I, and I remember I couldn't wait to get home to tell my dad, like, I want to go. That is so interesting that yeah. at such a young age, you still remember what it felt like in and your And that's body. all I remember about that day. Yeah. I don't remember anything else, but that moment, I remember like it was yesterday, crazy. That's what makes me believe that certain people have a calling and that for me that day was a before and after in your life because it determines this is what you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life. So get ready, which you did, because you ended up winning like eight championships when it came to go-karting? Uh, yeah, I didn't, Ridiculous. I didn't really keep, keep count. I have a lot of trophies that my parents have stored in their house mm -hmm. in cabinets and then more cabinets and uh, it's cool. I mean, it, it's like, uh, it's a journey that has been 16 years. 16 yeah, so years. It's quite a bit. 16 years, but that's a huge chunk of your life considering that you're, what, 22? Yeah, 22. Oh my I God, mean, 1999. That makes me feel like, yeah, we're 10 years apart. That's crazy that you were born in 1999, that you're such an adult now. Because <laughs> I remember I was playing Mario Kart in 1999, and you were born in that year. That GameCube? is GameCube? GameCube. No, actually Nintendo 64, 1999. Oh. You don't really? even remember. No. Why am I talking to you about these things? You don't even know what I'm talking about. No. But you, I'm sure that you grew up playing Mario Kart. Uh, Obviously, everybody has to ask you this question. I I'm a huge Mario yeah, Kart. Yeah, I, I did some of Mario Kart, but I, I actually was a big, uh, big Super Smash Bros. player. Okay. You know that? Yes. Yeah. But I, I didn't really like it. In that the much. GameCube. That's In my the GameCube, GameCube era. Yeah, okay. Because that's probably the console that reminds me of older times, I guess. That reminds you of older times, or like oh my, my young, my young days. I know. I love. No, I love talking about older times and nostalgia with younger people. This is no. This is amazing. This is very entertaining. But which character did you pick for Mario Kart? Falcon. Oh, mm. Mario. Usually, Mario. I liked Wario, or Luigi, or Princess Peach, which I'm sure you never picked. No, no I did. guy I've ever met has ever picked. I usually Princess Peach. I usually did Mario or Donkey Kong. Mario or Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So finally, who is the person that you look up the most when it comes to your career that you draw inspiration from? And it can be, it can be someone that's not necessarily a race car driver. Yeah. It can be anybody that you look up to that you draw energy from. My family. Your family? Yeah, because they've been through, specifically my dad, because my dad has been through every single moment of mm -hmm. my career with me. So he knows exactly how things go and how things have fallen or, or how things have come to fruition. Um, so yeah, my family. I love that. Yeah. That's a very genuine, heartfelt answer. Pato, thank you so much for being with us today in the heart of Long Beach. I know that you have an exciting couple of weeks coming up. I do, because I'm about to ride one of your cars and get to experience that high. Mm -hmm. I did it with... By the way, did you ever consider doing NASCAR? Is that something that you would consider doing in the future? No? Mm -hmm. You're sticking to IndyCar yeah. and Formula One? Yeah, I like fast and like agile. Lightweight. I don't like the big... Yeah, chunky NASCAR is like the, a, the yeah, chunky like, stock I mean, cars. I, and I talked to Juan Pablo about it. He's like, dude, it's like driving a school bus. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't want to feel that either. Yeah, no. me either. Okay, well, we'll see how I feel when I actually get a test drive. Uh, finally, where can we find you on social media? Uh, Pato Award on everything. Well, actually, Patricio Award on everything. But I'm sure if you type Pato Award... You'll come up. I will come up. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. There's no... I mean, I don't know any other Pato Award, so Me I'm sure you're going to come up. <laughs>